Generative AI is revolutionizing every layer of the computing stack. And our two companies with two of the most talented, deepest computer science and computing teams in the world are joining forces to reinvent cloud infrastructure for generative AI. To deliver the very best AI infrastructure to our customers, we invested heavily in capabilities across the AI infrastructure stack and have forged long-standing partnerships and collaboration. Today, we're announcing an expanded partnership with NVIDIA. We're integrating serverless Spark with NVIDIA acceleration libraries and NVIDIA GPUs for data science workloads with Dataproc. We are the only serverless Spark offering that supports NVIDIA GPUs and are seeing significant performance improvements. You also heard a few minutes ago our announcement of the general availability of our A3 supercomputer based on NVIDIA's latest H100 accelerated GPUs. To share more about our partnership, I'm delighted to welcome NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang to Cloud Next. Thanks for joining me, Jensen. Welcome to Cloud Next. Great to have you. Thank you. It's super great to be here. Hi, everybody. You know, we've announced the availability of some important new innovations with you and have shared more throughout this entire year. From all the announcements we've been delivering, what are you most excited about? Well, generative AI is revolutionizing every layer of the computing stack. And our two companies with two of the most talented, deepest computer science and computing teams in the world are joining forces to reinvent cloud infrastructure for generative AI. And we're starting at every single layer, starting from the chips, H100 for training and data processing, all the way to model serving with L4. Now this is a re-engineering of the entire stack, from the processors to the systems to the networks and all of the software, and all of this to accelerate GCP Vertex AI and to create software and infrastructure for the world's AI researchers and developers. Well, so that's, that's number one. Number two, we're so excited about the work that we're doing. We're gonna put NVIDIA DGX Cloud in GCP. DGX Cloud is NVIDIA's AI supercomputer. This is where we do our AI research. This is where we optimize our incredible software stacks. And all of this work that we do will instantly benefit GCP and all the people that work on it. And the third thing is ultimately to accelerate Vertex AI and AI models and AI software. Uh, the amount of work that we're doing together in AI software is really incredible. One of the you know, outcomes of this collaboration that I'm most excited about is that our foundational platform, Vertex AI, provides the foundation for how everyone consumes our generative AI LLMs. It's being integrated and running on NVIDIA's latest H100 GPUs to be generally available in the coming weeks. And many of Google's own models and products also heavily rely on NVIDIA. We're not just offering customers, we're using it internally in developing our foundational technology. You know, Google and NVIDIA have had such a long partnership, not only bringing the best NVIDIA GPUs to the cloud, but also the software used to develop and deploy AI Today, we use NVIDIA GPUs to build our next generation AI and serve models for our customers and users. Can you share a little bit about how our partnership is hel helping advance the field of AI in a way that benefits all these customers? Well, generative AI and doing frontier work in this area in large language models is breakthrough cutting edge computer science. This isn't computing the old fashioned way. This is a whole new way of doing computing. And so Demis and DeepMind and all the engineers at, at Google, we're working together to re-engineer and re-optimize uh, the software stack, reinvent software. Uh, starting from JAX, OpenXLA, um, the work that we've done to create frameworks that allows us to push the frontiers of large language models distributed across giant infrastructures so that we could save time for the AI researchers, scale up to gigantic next generation models, save money, save energy. All of that requires cutting edge computer science. And so today we're announcing the first fruits of our labor. It's called 
Pax ML. This is a large language model framework built on top of JAX, built on top of OpenXLA, and the labor of love of some amazing computer scientists. Yeah, so this is really, really groundbreaking stuff. The second thing that we're doing is our teams are now starting to build the next generation processors and the next generation AI infrastructure. Google and ourselves, we're gonna work on the first instances, one of the first instances in the world of our next generation AI supercomputer called DGX, D, DGX GH200 based on a revolutionary new chip, Grace Hopper. And so this is really, really amazing work that we're doing together. Well, we're thrilled of the work our teams are doing with you. Uh, you know, for us at Google, it's a natural evolution of the AI market. You know, many people ask me, what's the relationship between TPUs, GPUs, how do you think about it? You know, very simply put, as AI evolves, the needs on the hardware architecture and software stack evolves from training to inferencing to new capabilities like embeddings. And we want to offer customers the broadest, most optimized choice of accelerators. We're actually offering 13 different types of accelerators in GCP. Secondly, we're also a platforms company. Google's a platforms company at the heart of it. And we want to attract all those developers and customers who love NVIDIA's GPU technology, your software. And so it's a great, great partnership. And we are thrilled to have you. Thanks to your team for the amazing work they're doing with us. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jensen. All right, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas.